subscribe to my channel. Today I'm finally giving y'all the house tour y'all have been waiting for. Here is our house on Fort Riley and as you can see we have a nice little blue color. I like our house because it sticks out a little bit and it kind of makes us feel like we don't really have what's it called a duplex. Yeah. But we do have a duplex as you can see the other two houses connected but ours sticks out so I like that. So as you can see we have a garage and we also have a pretty little view of like these hills which I absolutely love. And so here's our house. And also, if you see our little welcome sign, I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it was on sale, and it's super cute. Come on, guys. Let's get started with this house tour. So, as you can see, of course, you see Abro. He's always around here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on some lights in here so that way it's not too dark. Well, we can deal with the sun for right now. So, when you come in, if you close, if you close this door, you will see our little guest restroom and in our guest restroom you know um of course you know you gotta have a sink nice little mirror toilet um a squatty potty we got this for christmas for my aunt fallon and everybody needs to get a squatty potty it's literally the best now if you guys come over here um we have just a few wall art we don't have a lot um my cousins and i made this together addison and maddie we made this together um it's just like a little mosaic Mermaid, I have this sign that says, friends like you are precious and few. And this little thing is from my great grandma's house. Uh, she passed away back in November of 2019. And wait, no, of 2018, sorry, 2018. And um, I miss her every day. And this just is a piece of her that I can have here with me. Now, moving on, you come down this hallway. Sorry, my glasses are getting a little foggy. If you come in this hallway, we have a, just a normal hall closet, nothing really special. This is where we keep our shoes, um, some hoodies that we wear a lot, and of course my robe. Now guys, I'm gonna show you our little hallway. Um, these are some pictures from our wedding. Um, I got them taken by photography by Angela Gross. She's amazing down in Louisville, Kentucky. So if you guys are around there and need some photos, um, hit up her page on Facebook, guys. Yeah, Abram gets really excited, so sorry. Um, this little thing right here is like a little wreath. Um, it was also at our wedding, and my mama has a cricket machine, and she put, like, the date we got married and, of course, our names. Um, then, um, well, I guess I guess I'll go ahead and show you our laundry room. It's a nice size laundry room. You know, it's enough. We have this. I fold a lot on there. Sorry for the mess, guys. Um, you know, just a nice two little Sam's, uh, Samsung dryer and a Samsung washer. Um, what I really like about this is kind of like funny because when you hit it, it, come on guys, let's get close. If you hit it, it makes a little tune and we just think it's so cute. Okay guys, now, now that we're also in the laundry room, we have a door that leads to our garage. As you can see, I burn one out. Um, our garage is kind of a mess. It stays a mess. Um, here's our car. Um, if you come back here, I know it's not that bright, so I might not be able to see. Um, we have some storage in here. Um, this couch is not ours. Um, my husband has, his cousin is coming to Fort Riley, and we are saving this couch for him and his soon-to-be wife, hopefully. And here's our storm shelter. If you see this big white box, this is our storm shelter. Um, if you know anything about Kansas, they get storms and tornadoes. So, it's just a safety precaution to have a storm shelter. If you see this sign that says, we love you, welcome home. This is from Anthony's first deployment and when he came home. And I thought it was so cute. And so, I just stuck it up there so when he parks his car in the garage, he always sees it. Okay, guys, now that you've seen the laundry room and the garage, let's show you our living room. So, as you know, behind you guys is our front door. When you first come in, like I said, you see all of these doors, you know, that... Um, also, I want to show you this piece that we have right here. This is a flag, as you can tell, American flag. And my mom gifted it to me and my husband for our wedding so we could use it as a guest book. Um, I know nowadays it's kind of more like a modern thing to do is have guest books that are not really books. But I guess you could say like a sentimental piece like this. Um, my grandma, like I said, my mama also put Lewis on it. And we have signatures from my mom and my stepdad, um, my mama, my papa, um, Anthony's grandparents, Anthony's dad, Anthony's sister, my cousins, just everybody that um, came to our wedding. Now, 
this is probably one of my favorite parts of our house is the living room, which is where we spend most of our time. Um, let's see. This, uh, this past October, me and my husband, we saved up and we finally got a nice, nicer set um, for our living room. We have this sectional inside the chocolate brownish with this ottoman. Then I put this cute bear Bradley blanket on. Um, as you can see, Abram loves it. He sits here all the time. And actually, he actually has created a little dent into it because he lays there all the time in the middle. Um, this picture, like I said, was from our wedding. Angela Gross Photography took it. And this picture um, just reminds me of a fairy tale. The way the sun is setting, my shoes were off, and we're just kind of like running off into the distance, you know. Um, let's see. Here's a nice little TV. We have a TV stand that we got on sale from Walmart. And it mounts our TV. And it swivels the TV, which is nice. You know, we got our DVD player, picture of Abram. My husband has to have his PlayStation, you know. It's kind of an eyesore, but let's be honest, we play games together sometimes. We got some pictures down here, some knickknacks, you know, um, my wax warmer. I love my wax warmer. Always got to have it going. Um, this snow globe is Cinderella, and it's from my childhood, and it's one of my Now that y'all seen kind of a panoramic view of our living room, um, like I said, we like to have little lights. These lights, especially like when it starts to get like dusky and like nighttime, it's very like a calming and homey feel. Um, of course, we gotta have our hydro flasks. Hydro, hydro flask. We got them for Christmas. Uh, we actually got a really good deal out of them. If you live on a post right now um, at the PX, they are 20% uh, off. Not for sure how long that deal's gonna last, but you know, like I said, it's on sale. Go check it out. Um, we also have this little picture thing. Um, my neighbor back home, she's my second mama, so Debbie, if you're watching this, I love you and I miss you. You too, Jesse and Athena. And Ziva, can't forget Ziva. Um, we put some pictures here from like when we were dating. You know, this is when me and my husband were in high school. This is the day he graduated from basic training. And this is a corsage from our wedding. And uh, temporarily, we have put these up here because um, our car got hit and we are trying to get it appraised. And so I just have them here so they don't get ruined. Um, let's see, this sign right here, uh, my brother, Danny, he bought me this for Christmas. Okay, guys, and here is our little kitchen area, dining room area. We don't really eat in here, so I've kind of turned it in to my craft space, and if you would come over here, I want to show this off. Um, I have the Crooked Explore Air 2 in the shade Cherry Blossom, and I love this so much. I create so many crafts with it. So I just use this space right here as a craft station um, up here. This is something I made for Anthony for Valentine's Day, like when we were still in high school. And I stole a bunch of my mom's lipstick for a minute and I made a little kissy print and I put clear nail polish over it and put them in here for us. Um, like I said, the other, if you notice the other card over there, this also came with a thing that my second mama, Debbie, got me. We just put some more pictures in here, family. You know, this is a picture frame and pictures I gave to Anthony um, for our first Valentine's Day, you know, sweet. Um, this angel right here, my great grandmother made, and I keep it up because it's special to me. And like I said, guys, um, we don't use our dining room for dining and eating and stuff. We use for crafts, but we do have these chairs that my mom's friend at work. Um, she gave us these chairs, and like I said, you know, sometimes we'll eat up here. You know, it's like a little hot top area, you know, that I like to sit at. Yeah, I know, my feet don't touch, I'm too short, I can watch out. And, you know, so like I said, we have this little area, you know, um, I'm very a minimalistic person, Some, not all the time. We're trying to start being minimalistic, but I like my, like, knickknacks and stuff. But as you can see, um, these little candy jars I made, um, we got the jar from Walmart, and I used my Cricut machine, and I put Life is Short, make it sweet. When the light hits it, um, you can see there's kind of a um, hollow in it. Um, I usually will always, always, always have a candle burning during the day. And there's just another one. Here is my crock pot pioneer woman that I got for Christmas. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and turn on these lights so I can show you just a couple of the cabinet spaces. Um, this one, as you can see, is broken. 
Um, we have put in a work order to maintenance to come and fix it because they don't really like us to fix things ourselves. They like us to call it in. And we were just sitting here one night and it fell. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Um, our cabinets, I love. I'm going to edit that part out. Anyway, our cabinets, like I said, I love them. We have, I think they're called, what are they called? Butler cabinets or something. And if you come back over here really quick, you swivel around here. They open on both sides, which is very helpful and hand, uh, handy. Um, another thing you might notice about us is <laughs> up there, as you can see, is empty. The reason why it's empty is because I'm too short, can't reach. I can barely reach the second shelf, so we don't use it. Now, if you also come along in here, like I said, you know, you see my crock pot and everything over here. The kitchen, or not the kitchen, uh, the kitchen sink. Um, I want to show you our fridge. Our fridge um, has lots of pictures on it. Um, the reason I like to have, I mean, everybody usually has pictures on their fridge. But one day I got bored and I went kind of overboard on it. And I just miss my family, like I said. My family lives 10 hours away. And there's pictures of my family here, like my mama and papa. Um, my sister, I don't see her, but we'll get into that video. Another date, another time. Um, I have lots of pictures of me and Anthony from all the years that we dated and stuff like that. Um, of course, you know, we got our microwave, um, our pantry. This just has a pantry. Um, I like it because it has these pull-out drawers, which can be very helpful. All of them pull out. The only thing I hate about it is, is these houses are kind of old, and lots of military families have lived in them. So things are kind of worn out over time. And you have to stay on them to get it updated. Um, here's our stove. It's nothing nice, you know. I mean, it works. It's good. It's nothing fancy. Regular old stove. Um, like I said, I always have my candles running. I always have a candle on my stove and a candle on my island. Um, we have this air fryer got for Christmas. I love it. I highly recommend for everyone to get an air fryer, especially if you're a soldier and living in the barracks. Get you an air fryer. It's the best. Don't be cooking your pizzas in a microwave or whatever you may do. Um, I'm sorry for um, my Christmas snap, uh, towels and my Christmas pot holders. Um, I haven't put on my Valentine's Day ones yet. I'm still waiting to get those. Um, another thing I want to show you is this calendar. Um, it's not your everyday typical calendar. This is a calendar I made when I was in high school. I took paint strips from Walmart, they're free, and I wrote, you know, the days of the week, just the letters, and I put them in this picture frame, and I use it as a dry erase board, and like I said, it's just nice. I'm going to go ahead and open up our window. During the day, I usually don't like to have a lot of lights on, I usually always keep them off, because I like to use the sunlight. Hey guys, welcome to our back patio. So, as you can see, we have this door. You know, it's not a sliding door, but you know, it's an opening door. We have this. It's really janky, and it really gets on my nerves, um, but you know, it works, little screen door. Um, you know, we got these steps. Um, we have this outside patio set. It's not really a set, this is just a little glass table from Walmart, and four individual chairs that we had bought also at Walmart. We have this little fire pit we use to make s'mores with. So it's a nice little privacy little area. You know what we have? Um, if we come out here, we have a little water hose. Um, it looks like it's made of icy mess. I don't know why that is. Uh, we also have this door to get into the garage from the back, but we keep it locked at all times. We also, this is our backyard. It's really nice. Um, Abram loves to come out here and play all the time. It's pretty nice. It's pretty big. Like I said, we have this nice view of the hills in the back. And when the sun sets, it is very beautiful. I highly recommend. I have thousands, well, probably not thousands, but hundreds and hundreds of pictures of the sunsets over there. Because the sun usually sits over where them trees are. And it's really pretty. The sunsets here are usually very pink and orangey. And, you know, we got this tree. I call it my tree of life tree because I don't know why. This seems big and pretty. For now, as you know, it's winter time, so it's dead. So, 
now that you've seen the outside, we're gonna go back inside and we're gonna take an adventure. Now upstairs. we're gonna go upstairs. Um, as you can see, if you look up here, I want you to come over here. Our stairs are very steep. As you can see, we got Abram at the top. You can zoom in on him. Zoom in. There you go. There's Abram. He's always at the steps. But now he's getting camera shy. So we're gonna go up the stairs. Ugh, I hate these stairs because they are very steep. Very, 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 very steep. Now, we're and this is our guest bathroom. Um, it's probably another one of my favorite rooms in the house just because we did color coordinate it really good. And it's just cute and very modern. We have the Chevron curtain from Walmart. Bath towels, Walmart. Bath mat, Walmart. We have this on, Oh Happy Day. And start each day with a grateful heart, both from Hobby Lobby. Our little towel thingy. Um, this sign, You Are My Sunshine, we go and sell at Walmart for $3. Now, that is most definitely a steal. We also have this medicine counter that opens up. Um, I put a couple things in here just for like a family comes to visit us or if his friends ever come over and spend the night. I put like, you know, some facial cleaning wipes, a lint roller, some cotton swabs, some acne wash, some toothpaste, some mouth rinse, tampons, and a, ra a clean razor, just in case, you know, you forget it, you know, I like to have stuff here, just in case, you know, you might have forgotten. Now, as we leave the bathroom, we're going to go ahead and turn our slide off, like I said. We have the hall closet, um, I forget the exact name of it, but, um, oh, a linen closet, that's what it is. This is where we keep all of our extra comforters and blankets, and we also have a couple air mattresses down there, a room. He's very curious. Come on, Abram. Um, this other room I'm going to show you is, I'm going to be honest with y'all, it's a disaster. Um, this is kind of our, my husband's army room where he keeps all of his gear and clothes and stuff. And we also have a few things in here for storage. We have a desk in here with a computer. And let's go ahead and show you. Uh, you want the light on? The light really doesn't help, I don't think, but, you know, whatever. So this is our extra bedroom. We use it as, like I said, an office. We have a computer up here, um, a TV thing that he's using as like an extra monitor, I guess. Uh, this icy lamp, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all. I love it so much. This icy lamp is from my childhood. I think it was technically my mom's, but when I would spend the night with my mama and papa, it was mine, and so I got it. I brought it to Kansas with me. These are a couple posters that my husband got. Um, he likes Dragon Ball. We both love Deadpool and Space Jam. Let's be honest, guys. That's just a classic. Um, this is just some storage stuff. Um, this tree right here, my great-grandma made. And like I said, she passed away. And I wanted to have some stuff of her in my house. And I just think it's so beautiful. She handcrafted this. She was a very talented woman. And I love her. I miss her every day. This sign right here is from Call of Duty World War II. Um, my husband bought the game. He didn't really like it, but the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare is the game he likes. Um, as you can see right here, it says to Lewis enjoy and it's signed by one of the creators of the game or something like that. I think it was like a guy who was on like the video part or something of it. I'm not too sure about that. Um, if you look over here, we have the Star Spangled Banner. Um, uh, the thing of it. And we got this also at Hobby Lobby on sale. I think we got it for like $10 to $15 and that was a steal. So we went ahead and bought that. We have a couple of beanbag chairs in here. You know, we kind of move them all over the house. Abram loves it. He thinks there's bed. So he's always in them. We have this nice window we use, you know. Now this is my husband's army closet. He organized it yesterday, um, as you can see. He has lots of gear, lots of clothes, a couple pairs of boots, you know, just pretty much everything. Look in here, you know, he's got uh, a toothbrush holder with a toothbrush, some toothpaste, and stuff like that. Just in case, you know, something was to ever happen, he could hurry up and have some stuff right then and there. He's got some different pairs of sunglasses and, you know, all of his bags. Like I said, he's got a tough box, his vest, I think it's called that IOTV. Yes. Is that right? Yeah, so that's right. You know, he's got his cold weather jacket and stuff like that. And that's about it. I very much appreciate him for organizing it because it was a complete mess in here, guys. 
But, you know, that's what it is. And that's how the Army does. You know, they have lots of gear. They always got to organize and go through it. So, he finally did that. Now that we're done with that room, I'm going to show you all our guest bedroom. And if you come to our house and are staying the night, this is where you will sleep. Like I said, it's very, 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 very cozy. Um, we have some Christmas lights up, you know, just to add to the comfort. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on the light. We have this bed. Yeah, Abram, like I said, he loves to go everywhere with us. And when this room is open, he will come in here and just lie on the bed because he thinks it's so comfortable. He didn't know right. But this bed, the actual mattress and the bed frame was from Amazon. We got it, what would you say, in a total of like $250, $300. So not bad. It's actually a great deal. This mirror we got from my husband's room since he was a kid. Um, these pictures, well, not really pictures, but I guess, I guess more of wall art. It's also from Hobby Lobby. We have, you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Deuteronomy 28.6. And of course, be our guest. Um, if you know me, um, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie. Disney princess movie, actually. And Belle is my favorite princess. And that's a very classic song in the, in the movie is Be Our Guest. We also have this little song, Memories Last, Clean House is Full, because let's be honest, everybody's house gets a little messy. We also have a closet in here. We, uh, my husband has just his like dress uniform in here right now because he needs to have that clean and always and he actually just got it dry clean and everything. So it's in there for her right now. My dog's in there as always. Hey, come on, come on. Yeah, he's very curious. He gets into everything. We have a nice TV in here for you all when you come and visit us. We also have a Roku that we attach to it. Some books, you know, just some of that. These curtains, um, my Aunt Valen gifted to me when me and my husband moved, so I love them. We have a fan in here because I sleep with a fan, and I figured our guests might want a fan too. It's always a nice option to have. This picture, some people may say it's creepy. I don't. I love it. I've had it in my room uh, when I was growing up at my mom's, and she let me bring it here, so I appreciate that, Mom. And... I love it so much. People think it's creepy, but you know what? I love it. Okay, guys. Now that you've seen our guest bedroom, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you all what you all have been waiting for, which is our bedroom. Like I said, I have lots of favorite rooms in the house, but our bedroom, come on. That's definitely number one. So we have two light switches. Um, actually, well, kind of three, but the third one is for the fan. We have three light switches. One of them for this side of the room and one of them is for this side. Um, I don't know if you can tell, our bedroom is massive. It's a pretty big bedroom. Um, when I had my wisdom teeth surgery, we moved our guest bedroom bed into here, and we still had room. But, <laughs> oh my god. Um, our bed's made, and Abram, every time the bed is made, he will come up here, and he will lay down because he just loves it so much. He loves the comfort of it. So, yeah, he kind of just does what he wants. We let him do what he wants. Um... We have blackout curtains because, let's be honest, your girl likes to sleep. And on the weekends, especially, Anthony does not like to wake up with the sun in his eyes. We both have nightstands. Um, on my nightstand, I have a diffuser that I like to diffuse some sleepy time oils, I guess. I don't have any of the Young Living oils, which I really would like to get one day. I have some sleep aromatherapy lotion from Bath & Body Works. It smells amazing. Gotta have your Vicks. Um, I use Vicks not only to help me sleep at night to like breathe and stuff, but my mom always uses it a lot. And to me, it's kind of one of those scents that remind me of home. And so, you know, I just like to use it. Because it makes me think of my mom all. Like I said, you know, we have these, these lights. Um, this picture up here, I had printed on a canvas. Angela Gross also took that picture. We have this fan. It is a row winter. And apparently, I think it's from like, where is it from? Like Germany or something. It is very nice. It was very cold. And here's our bathroom, guys. It's pretty nice size bathroom. We have the vanity sinks, couple sinks, you know. Like I said, I love it, I love it, I love it. We have my water pick, you know. We also have this cabinet that opens. I keep some hand sanitizer in there, nail polish, stuff like that. Um... Our shower curtain, you know, our brown towels, you know, stuff like that. If you also come in, we're going to shut the door. 
We have a bathroom closet. Our bathroom closet isn't too organized. It's somewhat organized, but you know, it has shelves in. We keep our towels in here. Our medicine stuff, um, extra. Well guys, now that you've seen the upstairs and you've seen all of the house, I just wanna thank you guys for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I wanna be able to reach out to as many people as I can with these videos. And please come back for another video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, and like the video, and turn on your notification bell.